Hello and thank you for stopping by to listen to my experience in BCM 300. Let's go back to week one. Since I'm at home, I was advised to use Board Game Arena as a platform to access board games and tabletop games. Creating an account was quick and simple and because of this, it got me excited to spend time on the platform. Six Nymphs was the one. It was the game I decided to become my friend, or so I thought. My first impression of the game was that it looked interesting, a card game. How hard could it be? How many rules can it have? Well, to my surprise, it is a little bit more difficult than I had anticipated. I familiarised myself with the game through playing the game. It was not my intention to just begin a game without understanding how to play it first. I had assumed that once I had selected a game on, the, on Board Game Arena, that the instructions would be brought up on screen, or a mock game would appear as it was my first time playing the game. Of course, I was very wrong. Although my first experience I lost horribly, it was still a good experience. The players so far have been kind and communicated with me through the chat messaging function, but the aim of the game was not to lose my points. This interaction with strangers was refreshing. I had expected the experience to have been more competitive, and this is still true depending on the players you play against. But with this experience, I felt like I had found my first epiphany. Although this is a competitive game online, people are kind and want to play a good game with you. This makes the experience that little bit more enjoyable. The game's design is quite bright in its packaging and appeared simple as it only required the 104 cards provided. Each ball is worth one point, or using Board Game Arena, it deducted a point. I was in negative points in almost every game I've ever played, and yet I have continued to play it to see if I can somehow improve my skills. I have yet to distinguish the technique I used though to win my second game. My experience with this game has been intriguing and addictive because this game is all about strategy and chance. You need to predict what other players will play and for some reason, strategy is not my strongest suit. But I persevered and have wanted to prove to myself that I can win. This is my second epiphany. Despite my struggle with understanding the game, I've come to enjoy the struggle to the point where I look forward to playing the game. The game's mechanics are fairly straightforward. The most basic rules to try and retain all the 66 points you have been provided with will, depending on the version you play, be the first to reach the 66 points. In its core, Six Nymphs is a hand management, score and reset type of game. I have classed it as a family game, but it could be a fun party game if some party elements were added, such as shots for the loser of each round, and let me tell you, there are multiple rounds. What I call a mini epiphany is that the game gets more challenging and you have less control as you play with larger groups. This you may enjoy or completely dislike. When playing, I prefer the smaller groups. I certainly had more control and didn't completely lose each time I played the game. I've always liked being in charge or in control of the game, so I liked owning the power to win when I was in a smaller group. Week 2. Now this has been intriguing because I've now become addicted to a kids game. I still use Board Game Arena, and although I had not intended to analyse yet another card game, somehow that's where I ended up. This time I played double. Rather than jumping straight into the deep end, I read the instructions. This game is extremely fast paced, with each game lasting 2-5 to five minutes depending on how many players. The end of the game is very basic. Match up one of your card's characters with the one from the active deck. The more you match correctly, the better, as winning requires you to have matched the most characters. This is Double's basic game mechanism, to recognise patterns and match the characters as fast as you can. Winning this game has made me feel like such a child, and that makes me excited as I'm a big kid at heart. I felt like I had more chances of winning, and I did win a few rounds. I certainly expected the game to have been more fun than Six Nymphs, but I did not expect it to be such a competitive game. If you thought Six Nymphs was competitive, please play a round of Double. This style of recognising patterns has always been something I've enjoyed. This feeling of nostalgia at thought was my third epiphany. I much prefer kids' games to complicated games. I like the fast-paced, multiple rounds types of games. They keep my attention, and due to the multiple card variation, the chances of having the same round each time is very slim. Now, week three was an interesting week. Print and play games. Had I ever really heard about them before this week? No. Was I intrigued? Yes. I decided to download a game named City Line. It was a solo player game that was fairly quick to play. Print and play games can be quite frustrating. With each new game, you need to print enough cards, which ends up being a lot of what I feel is wasted paper because you can't reuse these cards. This I didn't enjoy. Although I only had to print two pages, not everyone has a printer and making a trip to office works to print a game might not be worth your time. Found the experience too much. Too many rules, too many dice, and honestly too many steps without a fun or an exciting ending. There's no exact winning moment unless playing with multiple players, but even then, City Lines is certainly not a party game or a kids game, and so I figured this is why I didn't enjoy the experience abroad. Going into the game, I expected something more engaging. I enjoy games that have rounds or turns, and although I like dice in most other games as I enjoy chance, I didn't find that the six dice required made the game exciting. Its mechanics are simple with it relying on dice rolling. Its story and setting feel coherent in that building a city with the number you roll to create your buildings and population, but with this in mind, nothing about the game is exciting or blew my mind. To learn about each game in a little bit more, head over to my blog post.